question today is, is the 204 big enough to kill a coyote? I don't know, honestly. Hoping you guys can help me out. From my experience, personally, I haven't been shooting this caliber super long, but I've shot enough coyotes so far to know that something ain't right. So, unfortunately, I don't have a lot of footage to show, but I shot a coyote last night on, uh, I'm running a Burrish thermal with a MDVR recorder on it. I mean, this is literally like, I think it's either the fourth or fifth time that this has happened. I will say for the first couple coyotes, I was using a 32 grain. It's obviously not big enough, but then I switched to a 55 and the same thing kept happening. So I'm just kind of confused. Like I got this gun and I thought, heard good things about it. And I thought it was like the ultimate coyote gun, but not so far. I know I made a pretty good hit, I mean, and I'm sure it's down there dying. But I keep the call going and I turn the pup distress on. And like another five minutes, one pops up on the other side of the valley. It pops out, and unfortunately it's downwind to me. And I was like, well, that thing's never going to come in, so. Shoot at it, it's like, I don't know, 400 yards probably. And I miss it, but you can actually see where my bullet hits. Definitely should have been aiming higher, but it was to the right. Definitely right, so I don't know. There wasn't much wind. I don't think there would have been wind drift. Drift super easy in the wind, but I don't think that was the case. So I must have been shooting right. So, so then if we go back to this other coyote and watch it really close, it almost looks like I hit it in the guts, to be honest. It almost kind of seems like it bites at its guts. So that would kind of make sense. Obviously, with the 204, it's small enough. You still need to hit him, right? So that might be the case. And then it went down, and it was, it was laying down there in the bottom, and it was it was dying. It wasn't dead yet. I had to shoot it again, but... Where'd you go? Mm -hmm. <sighs> it is still alive. <sighs> No, you did. The thermal got her done. Jeez. That's a mangy one. That thing ain't worth nothing. Nice. So, like I said, I wish I had more to show you, but uh, yeah, this is a double I called in on the same night. It's really good last night. It was, I don't know why. Full moon is usually really good around here for some reason. Some guys say full moon isn't good. I don't know. Everyone has their opinion, but it works for me. Anyway, so this guy I shot at, and it's, uh, it's 250 yards, but I thought it was further. And I aimed, I probably wouldn't have needed to aim this high, but I aimed like up on its head. You see here, like, If my gun was shooting right, like I showed before in those last videos, then that kind of explains why I missed this one. So, I don't know. I'm going to keep trying. I'm going to go back out tonight. It should be good.